Welcome to lesson one. In the first lesson, we're actually not going to learn a key per se. We're going to learn where the grooves are that will guide our hands for all keys to come. So believe it or not, uh, we don't magically just know where to put our fingers, even if we're really experienced when it comes to the keyboard. We have a guide, and no matter which keyboard you're using, I'd say 98, 99% of them all have these grooves right here. And you'll notice these little grooves, uh, they could be little dots, they could be lines. Um, they're nowhere else on the keyboard. They're only on the F and the J key. So you're actually going to learn the F and the J key today, but there's other lessons where we actually practice the F and the J key. So this is just a little preview before anything else. So essentially, your left index finger goes on the left groove or the F key, uh, which is the same key, and your right index finger goes on the J. And what happens is when you do that, and you can feel the grooves under your index finger, do this right now with your keyboard, what happens is all your other fingers will align side by side and actually be at their starting position for their keys. So this is the launch point, uh, essentially, for all your fingers. So you'll know that you're on the right key for the rest of your fingers when your left index finger is on the groove for F and your right index finger is on the groove for J. Once you've got that, you can navigate throughout the entire keyboard. And if ever you lose your space, you simply use your index fingers to find the J or the F key and you now know where the rest of your fingers should go for their starting positions which is on the right side it should be J, J, K, L and then semicolon and for your left side it would be F for your in left index finger then D, S, A and your thumbs will always go on the spacebar and that's it that's uh, that's all you need to do today. So what I let's do a little practice before we finish off. So I want you to not look at your keyboard, look away, and use your index fingers to find the, the two grooves. And if you found one uh, on the left side with your left index finger, just place it there. Don't look at your keyboard yet, and then put your right index finger on the uh, right groove, and then line up your fingers side by side on the same line, and put your thumbs on the spacebar. Now look down. Does it look similar to how my hand looks? Let's try it one more time. So don't look at the keyboard. Just move your index fingers around until you find some grooves. And does it look like this? Most likely it does. Uh, it's a pretty easy process. So, and if it doesn't, it's okay too. It's okay to make mistakes. I'd rather you not look at your keyboard and make a mistake than look at your keyboard and whatnot. I'll give you freedoms to look at your keyboard from time to time, but in general, the whole goal is to not have to look at it. It's to use our memory, which everyone's got different abilities when it comes to memory, but you will learn this. I haven't seen one person not be able to learn when they, when they you know, saw the whole thing through. So that's it. That's today. It's the grooves. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. The reason why is I'm offering this course for free. Uh, I could have charged for this entire course to teach you how to type. There's many people that charge out there, um, but it's free on YouTube. So the more likes and comments I get, positive comments I get, and the more subscriptions I get, um, the more money I'll get from YouTube for giving you this, giving this to you for free. Anyway, have a great day, and I'll see you for lesson two.